Because we remember we talked about hell being in the center of the earth. But then we see here in Revelation 20, it says here, you know, the sea, verse 13, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. So we see here the final judgment that hell is delivering up everyone to that last white throne judgment. And look at it, it says here in verse 14, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. And you know, people ask the question, well, is the lake of fire somewhere different to hell? Well, the location is different, right? Because hell right now is in the center of the earth and the lake of fire is in outer darkness. They are cast into the lake of fire after they are taken out of hell. So is it wrong then to say that you go to hell for all eternity? Well, it's not, because I want to show you in the Bible that the lake of fire is also referred to as hell. So basically, the way I like to think of it is the lake of fire is like hell relocated. So hell is basically cast into the lake of fire and relocated, and then people are cast into the lake of fire where hell now is, which is the lake of fire. So the beast and the false prophet and Satan are cast into the lake of fire first, then hell is relocated, and then everybody is now at the lake of fire, which is also called hell. And I just want to show you this in the Bible, because in Matthew 10, we read here, the Bible says here, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. See, when a person dies right now, their soul will go to hell if they're an unbeliever. But their body doesn't go to hell, right? Their body is, we bury the body. The body's lying on the ground and goes in a grave, and we bury it and have the ceremony. And remember we read in Daniel, some will ra be raised up, to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt so there will be a resurrection at the last day at the white throne judgment where death and hell deliver up the dead which are in them and everyone is reunited with their body and then from there they are cast into the lake of fire remember so we see here that god is going to destroy both soul and body in hell so in matthew 10 28 we see that the lake of fire is also referred to as hell it's because hell has been relocated to the lake of fire and can still be rightly called hell. So it's not wrong to say that we'll, somebody can, will burn in, in hell for all eternity because that's true, because the lake of fire is also referred to as hell. And the last verse I just want to take you to, which also supports this point, is uh, in Matthew. And we read this in Mark. I just wanted to turn to a different, um, a different passage that says the same thing. But in Matthew 5, we have again this warning to um, do whatever it takes to not go to hell. Jesus says here, And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out, cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. So again, two times where the Bible is showing us here that the whole body is going to be cast into hell. Now, if hell was only that place in the center of the earth, the body never goes to that place, right? Because that's where the souls go to burn in hell in Luke 16. Then when the soul is reunited with the body, the body is then destroyed, both soul and body in hell, and also here in Matthew 5, we see here that it's profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. So again, we see here there the body being cast into hell, showing us that the lake of fire is also referred to as hell. So I hope that gives you a bit of understanding of the difference between the lake of fire and hell. So